Hello folks, Sandeep here, your curious explorer. Today, we're setting off on a journey to the enigmatic Callanish Standing Stones, nestled in the heart of Lewis, Scotland. This ancient site, with its fascinating stone formations, has intrigued historians and tourists alike for centuries. What makes this place stand out? Is it the stone's mysterious origins, their stark beauty, or the whispers of ancient rituals and celestial alignments? There's so much to discover. Join me as we unravel the wonders and mysteries of the Kalanish Standing Stones. Now, let's turn the pages of history back to understand the roots of these intriguing stones. The Kalanish Standing Stones, a remarkable prehistoric site on the west coast of Lewis in Scotland, are steeped in mystery and wonder. These ancient stones were erected around 5,000 years ago, around the same time as Egypt's Great Pyramid. The people who constructed these stones are known as the Beaker People, a culture that spread across Europe during the Bronze Age. Their purpose, you ask? While the exact reasons remain a mystery, it's widely believed that these stones served as a center for ritual activity during the Bronze Age. The stones may have been used to mark significant times of the year, such as the solstices and equinoxes, indicating an advanced understanding of the movements of the sun, moon and stars. The stone circle's layout, akin to a Celtic cross, is also thought to have spiritual significance. The central stone, standing at a towering four and a half meters tall, is surrounded by a circle of 13 smaller stones. Radiating out from this core, four lines of stones form an intricate pattern, possibly reflecting the Beaker people's belief systems. The history of the Kalanish standing stones is not without its share of drama. In the 17th century, these stones were buried under peat for a few centuries. It was only in the early 19th century that they were rediscovered and excavated revealing their true majesty once again. Perhaps the most interesting historical event related to the stones happened in 1981. That year, the area around the stones was declared a scheduled monument, ensuring their preservation for future generations. This recognition highlights the historical and cultural significance of these stones, not just for Scotland, but for the entire world. So, that's the historical backdrop of these majestic stones, but what makes them stand out even today? Let's find out. One can't help but marvel at the layout and structure of these stones. Indeed, the Kalanish Standing Stones, an intricate arrangement of ancient rocks, have a captivating presence that's hard to ignore. Let's begin with the main stone circle. This is a formation of 13 stones, arranged in a perfect circle with a diameter of about 13 meters. The stones are not all the same size, with the tallest reaching up to 5 meters in height. Picture a clock face, and you'll have a good idea of how these stones are spread out. At the center of this circle stands a lone monolith, standing tall and proud. This central stone is the largest of them all, reaching a staggering height of almost 5 meters. It's hard to imagine how the ancient people might have erected such a massive stone without the help of modern machinery. Radiating out from the central circle are four rows of stones, like the spokes of a wheel. These rows, or avenues as they are sometimes called, extend to the north, south, east and west. The northern avenue, the longest of the four, is made up of about 19 stones and stretches out for over 83 meters. Now consider the sheer weight of these stones, most of them weigh somewhere between 1 to 5 tons. It's mind-boggling to think about the effort and precision that went into positioning these colossal stones in such a precise formation all those centuries ago. The stones are not just thrown together randomly. Instead, they form a complex pattern that must have had a deep meaning for the people who created it. The pattern, the precision, the symmetry, everything about the layout and structure of these stones points to a society that had a deep understanding of their world and their place in it. The layout and structure of these stones leave us in awe, but the magic doesn't stop there. Indeed, as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the Kalanish Standing Stones, we find that their magic extends far beyond their physical form. Did you know, these stones carry an astronomical significance too. Not merely a prehistoric architectural marvel, the Kalanish Standing Stones are a testament to the astronomical wisdom of our ancestors. Let's delve into this celestial connection. The stones, arranged in a cruciform pattern with a central stone circle, are not randomly placed. Their positions correspond with lunar and solar events, such as the solstices and equinoxes. This suggests our forebears had a deep understanding of the heavenly body's movements. 
a knowledge they etched into the landscape with these stones. Take, for instance, the summer solstice. On this longest day of the year, the sun rises in perfect alignment with the avenue of stones, casting a glowing light that dances across the ancient monoliths. Similarly, during the winter solstice, the shortest day, the sunset aligns with the same avenue, bathing the stones in a warm, ethereal light. But it's not just the sun that these stones pay homage to. The moon, too, plays a role in this prehistoric celestial map. Every 18 and a half years, a lunar event known as the standstill occurs. During this, the moon appears at its lowest and highest points in the sky over a short period. And you've guessed it, the stones of the Kalanish perfectly frame these extreme lunar positions. Now, you might wonder why our ancestors went to such lengths to align these stones with celestial events. Theories abound but a common belief is that these alignments served a calendrical function helping to track time and seasons. This celestial calendar would have been vital for agricultural purposes dictating when to plant and harvest crops. Others suggest a more spiritual reason, with the stones serving as a place for worship and celebration during significant solar and lunar events. They could have been used as a bridge between the earth and the heavens, connecting the physical and spiritual realms. The stones serve as a timeless testament to our ancestors' astronomical knowledge. But what about the local legends surrounding these stones? In the next scene, we'll dive into the folklore and tales that have been woven around these ancient stones over the centuries. Stay tuned! Every ancient monument carries its share of myths and legends, and the Kalanish standing stones are no exception. Immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of tales that surround these ancient stones, each one steeped in the rich cultural heritage of the Isle of Lewis. One of the most enduring legends is that of the Shining One. It's said that this celestial entity walks the stone circle every midsummer dawn, casting a spellbinding illumination over the stones. The locals believe that catching a glimpse of the Shining One is a harbinger of good fortune and prosperity. Now, let's venture deeper into the realm of folklore. There's a tale that has been passed down through countless generations, a tale that claims that these stones are not stones at all. Instead, they are ancient giants, petrified forever as a punishment for refusing to convert to Christianity. The tallest stone, standing at nearly five meters, is said to be the leader of these giants. Imagine the sight of these towering figures, frozen in time, their story etched into the rugged landscape of Lewis. Another intriguing legend tells of a white fairy cow that would emerge from the waters of Loch Roag to feed the local people during times of famine. The cow would return to the loch, passing through the stone circle only when it had nourished the entire community. This legend has given the Kalanish standing stones a reputation as a symbol of abundance and communal unity. The local folklore doesn't end there. There are tales of healing properties, of the stones being a meeting place for witches, and even stories of star-crossed lovers reunited under the mystical influence of the stones. Fascinating, isn't it, how these stones continue to inspire stories and spark our imagination? Undoubtedly, the allure of the Kalanish standing stones goes beyond their physical presence. They stand as silent witnesses to the passage of time, whispering tales of the old, igniting curiosity, and leaving us pondering their mysteries long after we've left their presence. So there you have it folks, the Kalanish Standing Stones, a remarkable blend of history, science and folklore. From the fascinating historical background that takes us back to the Neolithic era, to the intriguing layout and structure that makes us wonder about the architectural prowess of our ancestors, we've covered it all. We delved into the astronomical significance of the stones, revealing how they were not just a monument but also an ancient calendar and observatory. And who could forget the captivating local legends and folklore, tales filled with mystery and enchantment, stories that have been passed down through generations. The Kalanish Standing Stones, standing tall in the heart of Lewis, Scotland, are not merely rocks positioned in a peculiar pattern. They are a testament to human ingenuity, curiosity and our timeless quest for understanding. They remind us that our ancestors, thousands of years ago, were just as fascinated by the cosmos as we are today. If you ever get a chance to visit Scotland, I urge you to experience the magic of the Kalanish Standing Stones firsthand. Walk around the stones, touch them, 
Feel the energy, the history, the science and the stories they hold. It's not just about seeing, it's about feeling, understanding and connecting with our shared human history. This is Sandip signing off. Remember, there's always more to explore and learn. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive.